Well, today on Nation, we're talking about how to bid over the phone, how do you do it, what's some good ideas on it. We're gonna talk a little bit more about automation, but either way, it's a great episode, so stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from WCR Nation, and you're here from windowcleaner.com, of course. And I am a sales rep over there. Uh, my number directs 862-312-2026. Uh, thanks for checking us out. Uh, we got a great show today, as uh, cheesy as that sounds. I really, I love automation. So uh, I love bidding over the phone. I love saving time in doing that. So it's a really, really killer, killer episode. Uh, listen to the end of this too. Uh, we're going to do a spiel and I'll give you a 5% off discount code. But this week I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some pretty awesome people. Uh, first and foremost, I want to talk, say what's up to Bill and Lee. Uh, uh, I spelled it wrong. Bill. Uh, what's up from Clean Streak Window Cleaning in Philly. Uh, Mike Nichols. Uh, voted the nicest guy in window cleaning. Carlos Soldua, what's going on, man? Uh, Curtis Turner and uh, Chase Ziegler, who got me some whiskey. Uh, all in all. So what's up? Thanks, guys, for that. If you are watching on YouTube, make sure to give us a thumbs up. That always gives us uh, a lot more street cred and comments. You guys did so good last week telling me where you're from. I really do appreciate that. So thank you to all you guys. Uh, and if you're listening on iTunes, go ahead and leave us a review. That would be amazing. But so automation and bidding over the phone is huge for me. And the reason is, is because I talk to people all the time that say, you know, I just did a 45 minute. I drove out to a place and the lady said that she wanted me to do it for half price. I can't believe I wasted all that time. That's super, 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 super common. In fact, I just had a guy yesterday, before I was recording this, I believe, say it on the phone, we're talking, and that's what he said. I said, well, you know, bidding over the phone will save you a ton of time. Yeah, but I just, I don't think I could do that. Here's the, here's the common thing, if you haven't heard it yet. Not in my area. My clients are different. It is way different where I am. Maybe where you are, but not where I am. I'm in a high-end area, and my clients, listen. Let me ask you a question. If you are a billionaire or not, have you ever shopped on Amazon? Have you ever bought anything from eBay? Online shopped at all? The answer is yes. Everybody has. Most everybody has, right? Unless you're so rich, you have somebody who buys your stuff for you. But the point of that is, is that if you have, then you don't need the personal contact. We're moving farther and farther away from that. And I don't ever, ever think that anybody needs to kind of totally get rid of personal contact. If you suck at talking to people, be better at it. But there's something to be said for bidding over the phone, saving a ton of time. Let me explain something to you. If I get the dreaded home advisor, which I love home advisor. Sorry to all of you who hate them so much. I love home advisor. I love uh, all that stuff when they call you instantly because I'm closing 87% last, last time I checked. 87% I'm closing. Well, that's so crazy. How are you? Because when somebody is calling from Home Advisor, I can answer the call immediately or call them back because what's happening is, is that I'm getting the lead. It shoots it to the text. You have a new lead, Brian. Quick call them. Hey, Mrs. Jones, this is Jersey you calling from XYZ. I'm just giving you a call. Uh, looks like you're interested in some window cleaning. I'd love to get you an estimate. Uh, let me ask a couple quick questions. I start my spiel. And the whole spiel talks takes three to five minutes. Well, guess what? Everybody else, if anybody else is fast, they're calling and just getting, you know, not through. But by the end of the questions, I can say, okay, Mrs. Jones, your price is going to be $2.99 for inside, outside. And uh, we're available either on Tuesday between 8 and 9 in the morning and Thursday uh, after 12, about 12 to 1. Which, which one of those would work better for you? Well, they're going to say one or the other. They got the price. They did it all. Everything. It's done. They've done, they've done it and, and they've, they've booked the appointment. That's the big part is that if you can go ahead and do all of that and be fast 
you're going to get the work. And that's the same thing when it comes to window cleaning. When somebody calls and says, hey, I'm just calling for an estimate. Instead of saying, okay, great. Well, we're doing estimates in the next three days. I'd love to come out and help. No. Because guess what? When they hang up with you, they're calling somebody else. They didn't get what they needed. So here's how I do that. Here's how I bid that. Now, every area is a little bit different. But you have to know what your PETA factors are in your area. PETA is pain in the rear, right? Now, a PETA factor is charging for something that's a pain in the butt. And that is definitely the way to go. Don't step over dollars to make pennies just because, right? So in our area, I need to know the type of windows because we have storm windows. And I need to know if they need any other services done. So screen cleaning or sills and things like that. Those are additional charges and we'll talk upsells in a bit. But how I do it is I start and say, okay, Mrs. Jones, let me get a little bit of information from you. I pull out my binder because I'm going to save all that information. A, because I don't want to have to pretend I remembered when they call me in a month or whatever if I can't close it. But B is I'm going to follow up like crazy with them because I want that work. It's going to happen. It's in their brain. They need it done. Even if for some reason I can't close them on the phone, I'm going to close them tomorrow. I'm going to send them an email. I'm going to send them all the information possible for that uh, uh, bid to get it. And if they are members or they are uh, customers, I'm sorry, then I'm going to set them up with the account, put all their information in. I have it all. I ask how to spell it and all that. Here's my spiel. Okay, Mrs. Jones, just a little bit of information. First, could you spell your first and last name for me? And yes, if her name is Pam Smith, you don't need it smelled, but guess, spelled, but guess what? Sometimes people spell Pam weird or Smith weird. Just get it spelled right. There's nothing worse than somebody who has a trickier spelled name and you spell it wrong. It's just kind of insulting, even if they're used to it. All right, and your address. Give me that. And uh, phone number. And then uh, when we're all done here, I'm going to go ahead and send you a copy of this via email. So what's, uh, what's the email you want that sent to? Uh, boom, got the email. So now I got all the information on the line sheet. And in that binder that I have, in that sh line, I'm going to have information for notes, if it was closed or not, and the date, right? So after I get all that information, I'm going to go to Google Earth and Bing uh, street views or, or Bing, you know, I kind of do two different versions just to kind of get the newest uh, images. But with a house, for the most part, looking at the house just to get a picture of it and asking the right questions, you can figure it all out. You know what you're doing, you know your price per window. Even if you're not doing a price per window, you understand how much a house is going to charge after a while. If you've been in this for a few years, you you got it kind of down pat. But what I'm going to ask is first is, okay, great. So when you walk up to your window on a nice day, how do you open it? Is it up and down, slide it up and down, or do you crank it open? Now, there's another choice that I don't bring up because you don't want to overload them with info. It's side, slide, slide, side to side. But they'll bring that up if, if possible. But Oh, uh, those windows um, slide up and down. Oh, great. Okay, so you have a double hung. Now, on that same nice day, when you open your window, do you have to slide the first window up, push two tabs in, and slide another pane of glass up? Do you have storm windows? Right? That's enough information that even if they don't know what a storm window is, I explained how they're opening it. Because everybody's opened the window at some point. Now they know what kind of window. Well, storm windows are a pain in the butt. But most of the time, they don't have them. Now, I'm in North Carolina now where we don't have storm windows. I haven't seen one in years. It's amazing. But... Um, that's how I ask it. And they, for the most part, would say, oh, no, no, it goes right to a screen. Okay, great. Now I know that it is a single, more than likely it's going to be a double thermal pane, uh, double hung window, right? It goes right to the screen. I know that they're not storms. If they do say, yep, yeah, no, I got storms. Okay, great. So on those storms, is each window individually divided up into panes? Um, I'm going to also say that on the regular one. Okay. On your normal window, when you're looking through it, is, a, is there wooden grids? Usually people go, no, the grids are in between the windows, or yes, but they're detachable, or something along those lines. But I'm going to be able to see that also when I'm looking at Google Earth um, and all that when I when I see. If I don't see them, I'm usually not asking, but I'll double check anyway. After that, I say, okay, and uh, approximately how many square foot is the house? Now, all this is telling me, because you can have a 2,000 square foot house with 50 windows, but it's giving me an idea so now my brain can take that and dimension what I'm seeing. Because if you're just seeing it, everybody's seen those mansions. You're like, oh, that doesn't look that big. And you see it in real life. You're like, whoa. 
So it just kind of brings it all home and kind of lets me understand that. And then I also ask a question, so how long was the last time the windows were cleaned? And this is just going to tell me if they're like, oh, wow, I've lived here 10 years and they've never been cleaned. I know I need to bid it a little higher and I know that I need to um, go ahead and plan more time for it. But if God, no, normally we get it done every year, but uh, we're just looking to switch from the last company and we're trying to give you guys a shot or whatever. Whatever. They're giving me information and I'm writing all this down. Just like good follow-up, you need to know all the information. So I'm writing it all down, taking it all in, right? And uh, one question I ask is, okay, so if you close your eyes and walk through your house, how many windows do you know? Do you know how many windows you have? That's another one where people will go, okay, uh, yeah, one in the bedroom is uh, 16. We have 16 windows. Like they can count them real quick. Or they say, oh, hold on a second. Let me walk through. It's just an idea, again, to kind of get a uh, justification. Things I can't see, you know, backs of houses and things like that. But I know already this type of house is going to be, say, a 16 double hung window job. There are no mullions. There are no storms. I know it's a nice cookie cutter style house. It's 2,100 square feet. Uh, I know the neighborhood because I've done work in there. I know that that's going to fall under, a, say, a 20 window special price of 199 inside and out. So that's where I'm going to be price wise. Now, after that's all said and done, I'm going to bid that price and say, okay, great. So for those windows to be cleaned, um, that would be inside and outside, you're looking at a price of 199. Um, did you need to add any screen cleaning on? Are there any screens that are a little bit extra dirty or uh, anything that you need us to, to clean? Uh, no, I don't think that's, I don't think we need screen. Okay, great. Now are your, skill, are your sills, we're going to wipe them down because obviously we're dripping water on them. But is there anything that needs to be cleaned with a toothbrush and vacuum? That's another one. That's how I'm selling my screens and I'm selling my uh, sills. Now, when I get to the job, because I'm not having a real opportunity to actually upsell, I'm going to have my guys upsell on the site. Now, that's where you get into giving spiffs and bonuses, things to make people motivated to sell for you. Those go huge, huge, huge. Um, but I'm going to ask those questions, right? So everything's said and done. Okay, great. So you don't need sills in the screen. So for your window cleaning inside and outside, again, it's 199 uh, There is no tax on services here in the state of Wisconsin. That's uh, another part of my spiel. So that's your total. And then we can get you taken care of Tuesday between 8 and 9 a.m. in the morning. Or if an afternoon is better, we have 12 to 1 on Thursday the 7th. Whatever, right? Which one of those works better for you? Oh, well, you know what? Uh, mornings actually would work way better. Does anybody have to be here? Well, for the first time we clean, uh, I always like somebody to be there just so we can introduce ourselves and you can point out anything that you'd like us to be known. Uh, but after that, every other service from here, you don't have to be there if you feel comfortable as being in your home. That's our spiel because I want people to be there first time. Um, again, you don't really get away from the spam and this, the, the, the people trying to scam you. I'm in the hospital right now. My, my name is Mr. Thomas Jones. Anyway, so that's how I do it. That's how my bit is done. That whole thing just took me with babbling, you know, small talking, getting them kind of comfortable. Five minutes, maybe. I never left my desk. I never left my desk. And in that five minutes, if I got another phone call, I can call those people right back and do the same thing. Now, that's how I bid 99.9998%. And the other little bit is maybe once a year I'll get a house where it is uh, ridiculously large and um, complicated. Now, a large house is fine because they can still count or they can still look, I can still see, I can, all that stuff. But when there's houses that are a little bit more uh, non traditional style, things like that, I might do one in person. Now, if I do one in person, I'm going to send the guys that day after that time to get them out there because I run crews and the crews are already out there. They know how to bid the project. Now, when I show up to a job that I've done that kind of bidding, uh, I'm going to show up and say, okay, great. So before we get started, we're going to count the windows, make sure we had everything right, double check that price. If anything's changed, we're going to let you know beforehand, um, plus or minus, we'll let you know. And then as I walk the house real quick, literally walk around the house, just double check and make sure everything looks good. Once I get back to the front, so great. Well, I did notice that you had some issues with greening or roof issues or blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'd love to get you set up also on those services. Now, if we're doing the house wash, we want to, of course, do that before we do the windows. We have everything with us. Now, that's, again, if how you structure things. If 
that does work for you because we're already here because we already have everything we can actually take 50 bucks off that service uh, too so uh, doing that would only be X amount whatever your pricing is on your house wash now I'm doing my upsells on site so the hard part is planning scheduling for the next one now what I do is I have a hour window for all of my appointments I always have an hour window and I also calculate for drive time so if I'm doing a job and say it calculates out to X amount per hour, I'm going to add a little bit longer for time, but I'm gonna plan the next job from the hour I should be there to the next hour. So I have an hour cushion plus drive time cushion. And that's just to plan. Now, if we're getting there early, of course we're gonna call, hey, uh, Mrs. Jones, we're getting a little bit early, I just wanted to give you a heads up. If we're going to be late at that job, she goes, oh man, you know what? I want the siding done, the back patio done, and the blah, 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 and the blah, 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 and the blah, 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 I want all that done. I would say, okay, great. Well, let's see if we can move this next job a little bit ahead. Uh, if not, then we'll have to reschedule some of those services to later, but let's see what we can do. Either way, you're still going to get that discount because we're here now. Uh, what I'm going to do is call, hey, Mrs. Jones, uh, I know we have you scheduled for this afternoon, but our first job is going to run a little bit long. Is it okay if we push you a little bit? Right, being out there and open is going to be huge for this, but I'm still upselling there on site. When I leave that job, I do our walk around and the whole thing now. I'm in person, I'm face to face with these people. Okay, great. Well, Mrs. Jones, everything looks great, and we're going to get you on the schedule for your next cleaning. Did you want to do it every three months or every six months? Right? They go, oh, well, every three months is a little bit soon. Uh, let's go six months. Okay, great. Six months gets you into the month of November, whatever it ends up being. Um, what we'll do is I'll have the office give you a call here a little later this afternoon when they're in front of their schedule, and they'll plan the exact time and date for you, right? So basically, we got a verbal commitment that they're going to get it done every six months, which, by the way, I talked to another person uh, on a forum. They were like, oh, I don't want to... I don't want to call people and bother them. Like they'll call me if they call me, but I don't call. That is the worst thing you could possibly do for business. None of you exist in business to just let business happen. If you're not out there getting the business, you're missing out on all that. So getting that done, booking the next appointment right away just gets this kind of automation thing flowing. I can have the next schedule filled up with some people from this time, and I know they're only done every six months. Every six months is great, right? Sometimes I get people to do it even more than that. They're like, hey, you know, can you have, do you have quicker, sooner than that? Can I get it done every month? You can, you're like, that's obviously an option, but I don't bring it up because I don't want to overwhelm people, right? So with all that being said, that is how I bid things. That's how I make it over the phone and I make it fast. Uh, another way to do that now is not really over the phone and some people will use it this way. Uh, I personally don't, but I love responsibility, love responsibility. Not only is Kurt Kempton, you've met him, uh, an amazing speaker, an amazing dude, but the product is awesome. Now responsibility is just a, a, a program software piece that you embed into your website and basically it's got pictures and counters and people can go two in the morning go through okay i got three of those four of those one of those it adds it all up with pictures so it's nice and easy it gives them a price gives them package options and then takes care of the follow-up so automating that completely now pairing that with your over the phone bids and you're absolutely covering everybody i mean it's it's ridiculous how easy the hardest part or the, the busy, more time, most time consuming part of a company could be. Bids are the hardest part. That's your sales. That's your front side. You need those to make sure you have the work so you can do it or your guys can do it or your girls or whatever. Bids are huge and getting them done faster makes people want to close it. When somebody's calling you, if, if you don't take anything from this episode, right? This is, this is it right here. Ready? If someone is calling you for a service, it is in their brain right at that second. Close them on it. It's in their brain. Close them. They want it to be done. They don't want to have to think about it again because guess what? Window cleaning is something we think about all the time. People will not think about window cleaning. If you're not following up, if you're not doing over the phone bids, you're not closing things fast, if you're not answering your phone, then you're not closing these people when it's in their brain there's a lot of people who call you now they forget about it and then all of a sudden six months oh you know what 
that guy never got back to me. They don't remember. It's not their job to remember. That's if they even leave you a message. So getting them done and booked right away is huge. Huge. I'm telling you, it's huge. So make sure to do that. Oh, and by the way, use Responsibid. Responsibid is I've closed jobs middle of the night. Hours I'm not even awake. People are on, they're looking at your site, but guess what? If somebody searched in the window, you know, uh, into the uh, uh, Google or something and search bar, window cleaning, and they pulled up your, sto- your store, your site, everything that you've done to get in front of them, it's in their brain. It doesn't matter what time it is. They want it done. It's like when they call you. If it's in their brain, it's in their brain. There's not another time for that. So having that on your website is no matter when the tire kickers come, they can look. But the other thing is it rakes all the information. It takes that information. You have all that. It says a new uh, person got a, uh, a, an estimate, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to call them the next day if they didn't already book it and say, hey, Mrs. Jones, I saw last night you put in uh, all your information and looked at getting a bit. Yeah, I just want to call you to see if you had any questions on any of it. Oh, no, no. I just want to go ahead and book that. That's most of them right? But if there is questions, then I call them, I have them, I have their information again, just like the bids in the first place, I have more information I can call. Leads, funnels, man, funnels, get all that information in there. Super, super helpful. When you're talking about bidding and automation also, don't ever rule out something like Send Jim. Uh, Send Jim's another one. You can automate uh, different types of postcards and gifts and, and thank you cards, all that stuff. Uh, there's another one that is uh, for emails. If you're huge into emails, which you should be, again, when I do bids, I'm getting their information, I'm getting their email, and I'm going to send them coupons, right? They're, you know, nice little information. I don't want to spam the heck out of them, um, but I'm going to be relevant, and that's how I'm going to do it. In an email, they read the, the subject line. If it doesn't get them interested, they delete it. That's how they are. You don't want them to be so uninterested that they they un- unsubscribe. But if you don't have an interesting uh, blurb to get them to open it, then they're not going to open it. So, but you have to be out there. Um, so Mailchimp's huge, huge for that. Um, Mailchimp is a free service uh, up to a certain number, um, but you can schedule emails, you can compose emails, you can send it to your whole list, you can make multiple different lists. Mailchimp is huge. Go and get Mailchimp and start a uh, email list now. If you don't have an email list, it's so much harder to get a bunch of emails and then find a place and then put them all in. Then you can just start right now. Start right now. Right now. Mailchimp. Go to Mailchimp. Uh, another one for social media, which again, automating. This is all stuff to get all these people interested to get to your site or to give you a call so that you can do the bit over the phone or get the response bit in is Buffer. Buffer is a service like Hootsuite and a couple other ones, but it does posting for social media. You can put your Facebook, Instagram, you know, Twitter, MySpace. I don't know what you're doing, man. <laughs> but you can totally automate it, you know, and a lot of them you can post uh, three different posts. So that every morning you put three in, load them all up, put them across all your platforms so that you have the uniformity, right? Logos, letters, whatever, pictures, put them in there. And it automates it. It can put them out. You can do one a day. You can do one every hour. You can do whatever you want. But it's an automating uh, system to get you relevant so more people see you, find you, and want to call you. So go do that. Automation in, in saving yourself time and bidding is, is absolutely huge. Now, uh, bidding roofs over the phone, if you do roofs, or house washing, is a little bit different. Now, house washing, for the most part in our area, is always the same um, bidding when they ask. I can say, what's your square footage of your house? Again, doesn't mean that's going to translate perfectly, but it gives me an idea. Um, okay, if your house is up to, you know, uh, under 3,000 square feet, it's going to be a price of three ninety nine. If it's over, it starts to go up, blah, blah, blah. If their house is a mansion and super crazy, I want to look at it. Uh, if I ask also, I say, okay, so is there any green spots or darkening on the siding? If there's algae, things like that. Oh uh, yeah, it's really bad. Okay. Well, now I know it's going to take me a little bit more. My chemicals going to have to be a little hotter. So I may charge for that. Roofs, on the other hand, is a very, very, very easy one. Your roofs, depending on how you do it, maybe you treat the whole thing. Maybe you're just a north side treater. It doesn't matter. But a roof is something that you can see from a satellite. You can't see how bad it is. I get that. 
But I ask a couple quick questions on that. I say, okay, for your house, what is your total square footage of your home? Again, does not translate, but in a 3,000 square foot house, that's two stories. I can kind of guess, okay, that's going to be the size. I'm looking at the house anyway. It just kind of, if, if I'm looking at a house, like, oh, man, that's a 2,000 square foot house. I'm like, ah, oh, it's 6,300 square feet. I'm like, whoa, okay, right? It just kind of gets your direct brain around. And then I ask another question that I ask, uh, and do you have any moss or lichens on your roof? Now, moss is a little furry bits, and lichens look like flat mushrooms, something like that. Um, I know a lichen does not look like a flat mushroom, but to somebody who doesn't know what a lichen is, they may be able to see that. And all that does is tells me the uh, type of debris that's going to be on there mainly. I'm still treating it totally. But with moss and lichens, as you know, you're not rinsing the roof. You're not removing that. It is going to flash white and they're going to fall off in the next week or two. So I'm going to make sure that that's uh, put out there to them too. But I can also bid them. Now, every service that I do at the very end, I always say, after everything's booked, oh, great, you're going to be there on a, a Tuesday at 9. Okay, great. And one last thing before I let you go, we also offer gutter cleaning, house washing, roof cleaning, and concrete cleaning if they're doing windows that's how i word it i said are there any of those services that you'd be interested in usually it's no not at that time because the call's done but i'm letting them know for the first time what we do now when i go there in person remember i'm going to sell them on it again but that is kind of how our bidding process goes that's how it is if you're bidding uh, over the phone let me know that you're bidding over the phone Tell me if you're still in person. Tell me your reason and why your customers are so different that it won't work for you in your area. Write that down. Uh, go to YouTube and put the comments. By the way, if you're watching anyway on YouTube right now, you're watching on YouTube or I'm in the background, put a comment. Put anything. Ryan Fuster. Fuster? He, all he does is gives me a thumbs up emoji on my uh, on the videos. You know... On our end, it helps to rank videos. It helps to see that there are people there. I have videos out there with only a couple hundred views. You know, our podcast side of things is always, you know, way, 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 way more. So it's it's hard to see when you guys kind of interact. So that's why it is. Give me a thumbs up. And whoever keeps giving me thumbs down to, hey, you know. I love uh, opinions, even if they don't match mine. So definitely let me know. But that kind of stuff helps me. I really appreciate that. And if you're listening on a podcast platform, please just go and review it. Like, I know you're working right now, but man, jump in the truck and review it. It takes a couple seconds. And you guys are the cool kids. You're the nation. Go out there and leave me a review. And uh, that would be epic amazing also if you want to leave us a google review if i've ever given you awesome service go to that it's windowcleaner.com slash review we'll get you to all the links if you put my name down in one of those it gives me credit and then i look awesome so go and do that but i am a sales rep for window cleaning resource so if you need anything any types of supplies and you want to put an order in it would be absolutely most epic if you did uh, my number direct is 862-312-2026. That is a cell phone. You can call me and text me, which is way more popular to text. But do that. Just be like, yo, Jersey, everything's in my cart. Pull the trigger. And if you tell me, um, I bid over the phone. Did you hear that? I bid over the phone. That is the secret code. If you tell me that everything's in your cart and I bid over the phone, you'll get 5% off and free shipping. Boom. It's a, it's a life hack, man. I want to be a rep. I really, really do. There's a ton of you who uh, even maybe don't get a chance to listen or watch anymore, but yet you still are my uh, clients. Dude, it's huge. You guys, really, that is how I make my cheddar. Um, I officially, as of five, uh, a couple days ago, uh, I do not have a window cleaning business anymore. It is officially sold and done. Um, and uh, yeah, so I really, really appreciate you guys who do let me put in your order. So thank you so stinking much. Um, but either way, go out there and start doing your bids over the phone. I'm telling you right now, you're going to save a ton of time. You're going to really, really, really like it. And uh, order your supplies for me. Go shop all night. Put it all in your cart. And shoot me a text. Uh, but either way, until next week, Go out there and be epic.